Gat bang of a folk mob. Hey, welcome to New Orleans, everyone. What a random trip that came about, but we're here and it's time to explore what the city has to offer. Vietnamese food, Dak Sang, New Orleans, and whatever else comes about. I'm just here enjoying time with my wife, not trying to do the fulfillment thing, but I still want to make a video for all of you. And we're going to a very famous cafe. Now this cafe is French, as are a lot of things in this city, and I don't speak French. So I had to consult an expert, Will, in Vietnam. You've seen this before if you drink a Vietnamese coffee. We're gonna go see what the original's all about. One thing is the music here is normally used for funerals in Vietnam. Damn man. But here, it's just happened on the street anyway. Got the band outside. Got the traditional coffee here. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm good. So, what can I get for you today, sir? Yeah, I guess I'll do the coffee and chicken rings. Okay. Mm -hmm. Out here, I think this is normal. Next year, I'll food for Vietnam because, well, going out on the street. Oh, cafe toy Roy. Oh, thank you. What is the chicken ring? What is that? Actually, it's the name of the coffee. Okay. It's just the name of the coffee? Oh, yes, I don't really know. All right, thank you. So now that I can get a word in edgewise, the coffee's really good. It reminds me of some of the first coffee I had in Vietnam. Remember seeing that yellow container? Cafe Du Monde, as Will in Vietnam told me. Original French market coffee stand, New Orleans, Louisiana. Yum Yum Mua Cafe at Disney. Trời ơi, cuối cuối là gần chín đầu. <laughs> Starbucks got nothing on Cafe Du Monde. Wife says it's better than Starbucks. Of course, a lot of coffees are better than Starbucks, but. Yeah, Joel? Yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. One thing I will say about it is the architecture. I do love this city in terms of what I've seen so far because there's so much history packed in there. They try to keep everything as it is. Definitely a new experience for me and the wife. Kind of reminds me of Hoi An. Not so much in the look, but just because how they try to preserve it. Last night we got a recommendation from our server, local po' boy place. He's lived here for 10 years, so I trust his recommendation. But basically, this spot is a hole in the wall, connected to a bar. If you don't know, po' boy is like bánh bì, and they said the đặc trưng the day. I'm on a me today. It's the firecracker shrimp, so you know how to get it. But I like how they do it. Where six inch is nine dollars, or twelve inch is eleven dollars. So it's like you might as well get the twelve inch, even if the wife isn't eating any. Still gotta get the twelve inch, but she got sweet potato fries. So let's see how those. Are. Such a perfect combination. The shukaka, wine hao, the pickles, the shrimp, the lettuce, and that firecracker sauce. Amazing. If you're in New Orleans, don't pass this up. Yo, that was really good. First po' boy in New Orleans and not disappointed one bit. As always, this trip has been based on recommendations and the first night of the hotel, the receptionist recommended this place, Rabbit's Foot, for breakfast. And looking at this egg sandwich, we got eggs and bacon on a Kaiser roll, smothered in cheese. I think he was spot on. That's some of the thickest bacon I've seen in a while. Alright, boom, 
người bắt đầu với trẻ nhỏ Already said I love trẻ nhỏ The fried spring rolls Well, let's just get them in it Hey guys, whenever you have the chance Ăn rau đi Tốt cho sức khỏe Nhiều người dân Mỹ không có đủ dến dưỡng in their diet So, nếu có cơ hội ở tại một nhà hàng Việt Are you rau ăn luôn Hey, chào anh. Thank you. Oh, nhìn ngon. Nhìn ngon quá. <cười> Đi ăn với vợ giống như ăn với mẹ. Chỉ chỉ cái can. Nhất. Vietnamese word of the day comes soon. A staple in Vietnamese cuisine. All right, for the main entree, mọi người ơi. Let's dig in and see what it's all about. Normally you get the nước mắm with the cơm tấm. So we're just going to break this egg up first. Gotta get this close up on here. Yo. Crispy on the bottom. But here, it's nice and cut up. So, first impressions. Yo. We have a winner. That marinade. My wife's face just lit up when she tried that. Actually, she's the one that wanted to get to come soon, so thank you, Vaka. Recommended this. To be honest with you guys, I will say this place is good, that place is good, but when it comes to this dish, that pork is on point. Mm. Actually, it comes down to the first night. We went to a place across the street, asked the server for some recommendations. He said this place over a couple other ones that we mentioned, so we took his word for it. And yeah, he pointed us in the right direction. Oh, that's it. Hello. Mm. Oh, you're oh, oh, my God. What's up, bro? Okay. Hello. Anh đã nói là anh uh, đã làm việc tại một quán cơm tôm yeah. Sài Gòn rồi. Yeah. So, rất là quên với cơm tôm ngon nhưng mà yeah. I'm rất thích the hay say yeah vị, right? The, yeah, vị. the marinade on the sung. That's yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah. So, nhà hàng này ở đây lâu chưa? Yeah, hai năm. Hai năm thôi yeah, à? Yeah, mới hai năm thôi. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cảm ơn đợi nhạc ra và nói hello. Dạ, dạ, dạ. Em tên như vậy. Dạ, yeah, em tên Phát. Phát? Dạ, dạ. Đó. Anh kêu anh. Anh em là Phúc. Dạ. Phúc Phát. Phúc Phát. Phúc Ngọc. Em chụp anh Phúc tấm hình nhanh không? Of course, chụp thôi. Bao nhiêu tuổi rồi? Dạ, em 19 tuổi. 19 tuổi. Dạ, dạ. Khi nào sang Mỹ? Dạ, em mới qua được 3 năm rưỡi. 3 năm rưỡi không? Dạ, 3 năm rưỡi. Thích nước Mỹ không? Dạ, không. Thích đồ ăn ở Việt Nam. Dạ, thích đồ ăn ở Việt Nam không? Dạ. Anh đang làm gì ở đây? Du học hả? Dạ, không. Em thích thử ở đây. Ồ, vậy hả? Dạ. Alright, well, chào mừng đến Mỹ. Dạ, dạ. My wife is called Bao. She's gonna have a baby. And she is not a fan of shrimp pregnant even though she liked it before now not so much so as her husband it is my job my duty my check me to eat the shrimp for her no more but honestly when I eat this me one time it reminds me of an episode in Vietnam discovery on VTV4 24 hours in Hanoi and I ate some me one time in the old quarter and had some there and it was really good, but these noodles, they remind me of that spot. This is one of those where I'm not even worried whether I'm gonna post it or not because this place was great. That gum soon. Wang long moon. And the main one tan. Nyak the folk from Vietnam. So yeah, can highly recommend if you find yourself in New Orleans here on Magazine Street. Chan. So good, my gosh. Yeah. Hello. Hey, chào anh. Chào anh, là anh ngon không? Rất là ngon. Chào anh ngon hả? Yeah, cái oh. cơm cơm sừng này có rất là nhiều vị á. Dạ dạ. rất là vui là anh đây ăn. Cảm ơn. Không biết là lại ăn đâu. <cười> dạ, uh, thật ra um, mấy người giới thiệu quán này uh, uh, em đã hỏi trên Instagram là giống uh. như là khảo sát. Uh. Oh, mọi người ở New Orleans ăn ở đâu? Nhiều người giới thiệu yeah, quán này. Thì... Chưa mọi người ơi, ăn vòi rau mới ngon 
Ủa, em rửa tại chưa? Mọi người biết rồi Đang ăn yên có bao nhiêu rau Nhưng mà hôm nay là exception I gotta say You know, it's been a while since I had Ben Kwok. It's a very familiar taste of mine. It's something my wife actually got me into. We went to Vultao for the first time in 2016. And she also enjoyed it. It's so good. I really like the decor. The this place. Beautiful. Yeah, it's so good. Mm. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Nhắc nhở Phúc, nhắc nhở Phúc về ngày xưa có tờ báo Trên điếm rưỡi, ngon quá Ăn xá tuôn, ngon quá Mình à, 40, à, tháng 12 là 45 tuổi rồi 45 tuổi nhưng mà vẫn trẻ Đây là một đặc trứng của người châu Á giữ sắc đẹp màu hơn Mỹ trắng Anh ai cũng nói vậy, nhưng mà anh cũng trẻ, chị trẻ chờ bán tuổi, bán năm tuổi oh, yeah. nhưng mà lần trẻ mà lần so, ở Việt Nam chúng ta nói là phi không lái máy bay như là Kubrick <cười> so, đầu tiên có bì cuốn so, bì, so shredded pork skin you'll see it in cầm tấm, the broken rice get it wrapped up in here and then of course the soap đậu phòng the peanut sauce there's a good break from the normal gói cuốn with the pork and the shrimp one of the first things I'll point out, peanut sauce, it goes very well with it. So now I'm just with rolls like this, you get nook mom, you get peanut sauce, peanut sauce here, very good. Oh. Thank you. Mọi người, đây là bún bò huê tố xé lỡ, the train bowl. Let's see how that broth is. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> spicy. There's one Vietnamese phrase that comes to mind when I try this, and that is đồ vệ. There is more than enough flavor in there and a little cay at the same time. Oh, no jalapeno is necessary on that one. Right away, before I even take my first bite, I know it's going to be a good bowl. What's that? That broth is just packed. <coughs> they have sriracha here, but it is not necessary at all. This has some kick to it. A popular phrase in Vietnam, question, people say, ah, em biết ăn cay không? Do you know how to eat spicy? This, this question when they say in bit, like yes, I know how to eat spicy. But they're referring more to like, can you eat it? You know, do you know how to eat it regularly? For me, con biết ăn cay, I could eat it, but ooh, one thing I like is the cha and how thin it's cut. Look at this guys. Oh yeah. <coughs> Ah, come on, that's it, man. Yeah, yeah right, quite. Right, right, the growl, quan. Yeah, hang up, line, yeah. <coughs> the wife's laughing at me because last night we had an Indian date and we ate a lot of Indian in Vietnam, but I was very good at avoiding the spice. Good. My whole demeanor changes when I get something really spicy. I had the tikka masala, I told him, hey, not that spicy. He's like, yeah, don't worry. Whoa, I had to take my hat off. I was sweating so much. Not now. She's looking at me not even 24 hours later, still laughing because, well, now I got this. Boon bo hue, that's a little guy. Easily the spiciest bowl. Boon bo hue. Ma phuc đã thương em. Easy. But I enjoyed it. Really good. 
All right, you made it all the way through. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Don't worry, I have a few more left from America and then back to Vietnam. But I hope you're enjoying this America series. In the next video, we're going to Oklahoma for the grand opening of a great Vietnamese restaurant. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you can follow me on my social media pages as well. And if you are interested in learning Vietnamese, past what we have in these videos, when I teach Vietnamese on Patreon and there's a link down below for that. Thank you guys so much. And until next time, hang up, fly, and chúc mừng năm mới.